Okay, I'm, I'm back here again. I'm going very carefully over what I think is, is the uh, Cromwellian ground here, about uh, 1600. Um, very, very small a growl and a little blip on the motion. Uh, but no readings or anything, so dug it up anyway. Looks, looks like a, a hinge off something. Very sharp squeal and uh, a 91. I miss this completely. Two p. It's not been there long. Uh, 1936, can't be 1986. <laughs> oh, it's 16. Yes, 1916. George, five. Half penny. Uh, again, it gave a squeal. I missed it. Thought we got a coin ball here, but uh, it was a nut. Another of these nuts that. Uh, they don't know if they're iron or not, they, uh, but they keep throwing out a decent signal, so you've got to dig them. Uh, the squealer said dig it. The non-motion said mm, best I can manage is about somewhere between 27 and maybe 40. It's a pen knife. <laughs> Pretty consistent on these hot rocks. Squealer goes eh, somewhat there. And the non-motion sort of goes eh, blip. <laughs> But, uh, hot rock. You know when you first come on a site, you climb over the gate and then you're anxious to get into the field. <laughs> and you go right over the top of a, a very decent penny. Uh, where's your date? Where are you? There you are, down the bottom there. 19... 10? 1910. Oh, Edward 7. Good one. <laughs> I'm searching under tree roots and everywhere at the moment. <laughs> uh, one penny. I've got a feeling there's something here that keeps drawing me back. I had to leave the gate because the geese wanted to come through, so I'll go back up near that gate where I found the penny in a minute. Uh, pony shoe. Huh. Oh, this is old ground. And another horseshoe. A few feet away from the other one. End on look. Down there like that. On its edge. Weird. And yet another horseshoe. That's one here. One there. And one there. They just seem to be slinging the horseshoes down this slope. Huh. I think that's uh, Victoria, but I'm not sure. I'll have to clean it up when I get home. It's coming in very, very dark now. It's threatening to rain. Uh, but I found a few coins. All on these odd, odd spaces I haven't touched before, in odd little tiny corners. And every one of them could be a half sovereign, let's face it. <sighs> Another George Five hit me. I can't get the date. They were coming a bit nearer to this ravine than I realised. Coming down this side of this hill here. Well, that was a pleasant uh, three quarters of an hour. So, <laughs> until uh, darkness and uh, rain stopped playing. Uh, now what did we get? Um, got a knife. This. I've seen one of these before. This that part there is a wooden ruler, and then there's there's a hinge, and then there's another one. It's part of a, an old folding ruler. Uh, had one of them before. Right. Let's start with the modern stuff. Modern penny clad. Look, it's magnetic. Doing. Magnetic. It's iron. Old penny copper. Old 2P, copper. Then we get on to um, 
1928 half penny not very bad you know not bad at all 1916 uh, stayed together quite well 1910 very nice coin that very nice um, it's, um, it's in good nick Oh no, we're quite pleased because it, it's at an Edward Seventh, uh, as opposed to the George Fifth, which are really common. So we're getting back a bit there. 1910, and then there's this one, very smooth um, penny. It's a young, a young head Victoria look, worn smooth. And the date we're looking at is 1866. Yeah, it's going back some. So it's it's fairly old where I'm looking. I mean, with those three horseshoes, they must have been shoeing horses or something on that spot. Um, and every one of these could have been a sovereign. <laughs> you know. Uh, never give up, lads. Never say die. Happy hunting.